Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I have my August Stitch Fix to share with you. Now, I will go ahead and I'm going to leave all of the details about Stitch Fix below in the description box in case you are not familiar. And then I also like to put up the time that the try-on starts right here in case you want to jump right over to the try-on. And here is my bundle. And I just wanted to share a couple of things with you before I open this bundle up. I actually selected all five of these items from my preview. So that I think is a really good thing because lately I've been in a bit of a stitch fix rut and have rejected most of my previews initially, all of them right away. So the fact that I found five items that were interesting to me, I think is a really good sign. And then I also have some updates that right now I do not have the style pass anymore. I was informed from Stitch Fix that they were not renewing my style pass. And so I emailed them back because I was wondering if it was be due to the fact that I have not been purchasing much from Stitch Fix the last several months because my boxes have just not been on. And I also said that I know other YouTuber women of my age that their style passes were renewed and I was curious why I was not being extended that as well. And someone from their customer service did get back to me and assured me that they are definitely doing away with the style passes. She said, whoever of your friends that they renewed their style passes, they probably were able to do that before the final decision was made to eliminate the style pass altogether. So I am curious for any of you out there, YouTubers or other women that have the style pass, can you let me know when you renewed your style pass? I'm really just kind of curious. Um, when they decided to make this final decision about not having it anymore. I'm very curious. So from here on out, I'm going to have to pay the, the regular styling fee for each time I order a Stitch Fix, which is not really the best, especially since I have not had really great Stitch Fixes in the past, and just wasting $20 every month doesn't sound fun. But we're giving it a try, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so enough chit chat. Let's open up the bundle and see what I've got here. Okay, the first piece that I have here, this is a 41 Hawthorne. And this is a white blouse with kind of like puff sleeves and it's got elastic here at the cuff. And it feels like it's a cotton poplin. I have to laugh because I received another white short sleeve cotton blouse from Stitch Fix. Maybe it was the last box. And a lot of you had me cracking up because you said that it looked like a school uniform. And when I saw those comments, it was absolutely true. It did look like a school uniform. This one, the styling seems to be a little less uniform-like, I think. So I thought this looked cute. And I realized I would like a white short sleeve button down in my wardrobe. So hopefully this one will be a good one. The next piece we have, this is from Sanctuary. And this is a little cream colored sleeveless top with some like smocking gathering up here near the neckline and a cute little ruffle detail. And this one I think is a cotton too. I reiterated that I like having cotton choices along with some polyester. I just like having choices other than just all polyester tops. So I think that is cute. The next thing we have is from Fortune and Ivy, and this I believe is a polyester top. And this is another sleeveless. This is also a white button down styling. But when I saw this, I um, thought that this could be a really great layering piece, especially under cardigans and jackets in the fall and winter time. 
because I love the look of like a button down, but I don't like the sleeves a lot of the time under cardigans and jackets because I just get too overheated. So I thought this could be like a great option for that, but then also I think it's really just a pretty sleeveless top. So I was excited to try that. And the next piece that we have, this is Bella Doll. And this is a really pretty, look at that pretty pink, kind of a peachy pink. Or would you call it coral? I think it looks like pink more online, but now in person, I'm not sure. Well, this is a dress anyways. And I think it's gonna be one of those kind of like just relaxed looking dresses. The only thing that worries me about this now, seeing it in person, I wonder if there's rayon here. I wonder if it's gonna be terribly wrinkled. Tensile Lyocell, is that the same as Rayon? I never know, but maybe steaming it out, it will be fine. But I think it's cute and I wanted to give it a try. And then lastly, this is a blazer from Skies Are Blue and it's like kind of a stone color with like this texture. And it's really soft, it's got the turned up cuff here with the little striping detail which I think is cute. I had asked her there was a, bl a navy blue blazer on the freestyle site that I had asked to have in my box but I don't know if they didn't have it available. So I, she added this instead and I'm willing to give it a try because I think the nice neutral color and I like the texture that this could be something that I would enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. All right, so those are my pieces, and I am really excited to go ahead and try those on. So let me go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. All right, this is adorable. I don't think this one looks like a school uniform. You'll have to let me know. All right, so this is, I looked at the, the tag, 100% cotton. It's got a nice feel. And I like I said, I like having the option of them sending me some cotton pieces. I'm really enjoying that. But I think this blouse is adorable, but there's one thing I'm just not sure about. But I do like the little like notched out V and it's got the buttons down the front. I don't think it's too see-through. I like the weight of it. I think the puffy sleeves are adorable. The one issue I'm having is that I don't know if the elastic here on my chubby upper arms is going to bother me. If I think that it would be an issue because I do think it's absolutely adorable. I think it's really, really cute. Let me take it out so you can see the length of this one out. So this is the length when it is untucked. But it's a really cute blouse. So I'm going to have to see what I think about the sleeves. If I think they will be comfortable enough for me, but I do like this one. This is off to a good start. All right, let me go ahead and change into the next couple of pieces. I'll be right back. Louis come in to eat his treat right behind me, so you're probably hearing crunching. I apologize. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna start with the blazer, which I think is really cute. I love this like neutral, I'm calling it stone, I guess I would call, what would you call the color? But let me get close to show you some of the features. Here you can see like the texture of the fabric and it does have like stretch to it. And then I really think the cuff is adorable. It's got this turned up cuff with the striping, like a taupe and white striping underneath there, which I like the way that looks. It is fully lined so it has that striping on the inside as well. And there are no buttons. So I do think it's a really cute, like very neutral blazer. But I think there's just an issue the way that this one was made. I don't think there's an issue of the way it fits on this shoulder here, but I'm wondering, standing here in the camera, if you're able to see, this shoulder looks a little funky. Like it comes up a little bit higher and it's like not laying right. And I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to see that from here. Can you see? The and here, I don't know if you can see, it looks like there's gathering and it kind of sticks up a little bit. So depending if I decide that I really like this and maybe you want to just exchange it for another one to see if it's got that issue. But what do you think? I kind of like this and I do like blazers 
just for casual wear like this. I wear them a lot when I volunteer and just if I go out sometimes. I do like a blazer. So let me know if you can see what I'm talking about with this one. I'm debating on whether I like this enough after watching the footage to maybe see if I could just change it for, you know, the same blazer, same size, but maybe another one would not have this issue. All right, so now we are on to this polyester sleeveless white blouse. And this one is a very nice feeling polyester. It does even have just a little bit of stretch to the fabric. It does have the pockets, which I'm not hating. Sometimes I hate the pockets over the breast like that. It just, I don't like that. But I, this one, I'm not hating. Does have the little notched out V here, and then it buttons all the way down the front. So right now I've got it tucked in, and I'm gonna take it out just to show you the length of this one. All right, so here is the length out. But like I said when I was doing the unboxing, I like this idea of having this for a layering piece under the blazers. I did think it looked really cute under the blazer and under cardigans in the winter. So I do like this for that fact. I don't know, I'm gonna have to give this one some thought, but I do think this is a cute one too. All right, I've got this like ivory colored cotton sleeveless blouse to show you. And I think this one is really cute too. I do love the little smocking up here and then the ruffle neckline I think is really pretty. I do have it just front tucked in here right now. It's not a really long top. This is what it looks like out. This one is really gonna depend on watching the footage to decide what I think about it because I do like it. All right, friends, I've got the dress on to show you. And I love the idea of this one, but the fit is just not, not right for me. I think the color is really pretty, very summery. And the fabric, it says that it's Lyocell. Is that the same as Rayon? I really don't know, but very, very soft fabric. I like that it's got the collar with the little notched out V. The part that is not fitting me, it's actually very uncomfortable, are these roll tab sleeves. The thickness of this fabric rolled up is making this so t incredibly tight right here. And this is not even like the chubby part of my arm, but right here it is just very tight and very uncomfortable. Um, I don't know how, I guess I could try to unroll this. It does feel a little bit more comfortable, but I think it changes the whole look of the dress to have long sleeves compared to, you know, like the three quarter. I don't know how it would look just turned up a little bit. I'll have to see. It does have pockets, but they are sewn, and because I am not sure I am keeping this yet, I'm not gonna break open these little seams to see how that looks, but there are pockets on the dress. I also th think the length is not terrible. It is above my knee, but I'm kind of comfortable with this length, especially for summer type dresses. Um, but I just don't know if this is gonna work. I could definitely not wear this with the roll tab sleeves. And like I said, it's just very uncomfortable here rolled up. And I'm not sure, we'll have to see how I like it just rolled up like that. I'll have to watch the footage back of this one to see. But I do think the color is really pretty. So let me go ahead and watch this footage and then I will be right back to wrap up this video for you. All right, friends, I am back and trying to figure out what I wanna do with this stitch fix. All right, let's see, this white, this white blouse, 41 Hawthorne Quincy puff sleeve blouse, $59. I really did like this, but I am concerned that the elastic around the sleeves is just gonna bother me enough to prevent me from wearing it because it, it just is a little bit uncomfortable and I just don't like being uncomfortable in my clothes. So I think for that reason, this one is gonna be going back, but I think it really is a sweet blouse. And I think you'll agree, this one did not look like a school uniform. This is a Sanctuary Sunny Sleeveless Top for $46.97. That's a good price. I don't know, I'm kind of debating on this one, but I just, 
I don't think it's a love, so I think I just answered my question. I think if I have to think too much about it, it's not a love and I shouldn't keep it. So I will be sending this one back, but I do think this is really cute. All right, so now we have the dress. This is the Bella Doll Hilda shirt dress in pink for $158. This one I've decided is just not for me. I think it was so uncomfortable rolled up on my arms. It was really uncomfortable. So I just didn't think it was anything spectacular on me and then the way it felt on my arms and then I didn't really like the way that it looked long sleeve. So this one's gonna be going back. This white sleeveless blouse, let's see, $39. That's a great price. And I really did like the look of it layered under that blazer. And I think I would enjoy this under cardigans and blazers in the fall and winter. So I'm really thinking of hanging on to this one. And then the last piece is the blazer. This is the Skies Are Blue textured blazer in beige. And this is $78. I really did like this, but I do think there is just a, an issue the way that this was made with the shoulder. So I'm kind of debating on exchanging this for another large and trying that and seeing how I like it because I do think this is really cute and I like how neutral it is and I really did like this other than that fit issue. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking of exchanging this for another one to see if that has the issue as well. Anyways, I do want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I really do appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye.